Hi everybody. We at the National Centre for Literacy and Numeracy for Adults have been putting together a set of resources for particular industry groups. And one of these groups is the engineering domain. And of course, engineering includes a wide range of different areas, civil, automotive, electrical, mechanical, and so on. What we wanted to do is put together a set of resources that tutors could use for two things to inform the development of their program and also to help learners through sticking points and entry level courses. Now, one of the ways we did this is we interviewed a group of engineering tutors who are working in entry level vocational courses. And we asked them about the day to day challenges they have and the kinds of numeracy and literacy tasks that their learners have difficulties with. And as we drilled down deeper into what these areas were, sort of a recurring set of themes or content kept coming back to us. After talking to the tutors, it was pretty clear that most of the challenges that engineering tutors were having related to numeracy and mathematics rather than literacy. Although there were literacy issues, however, most of the resources that we've developed are around addressing these numeracy issues. Now, there were really four main things that popped up and there are subdivisions within each one. But the first one was that the tutors often said that the learners uh, lacked a fundamental understanding of the metric system and the measurement systems and that this would have ongoing problems as they went through the program because they just weren't able to uh, continue to learn from the content and apply what they were learning in the workshop. The second thing was around uh, some sort of fundamental ideas around area and squared numbers and so on and in particular finding the area of strange shapes for example circles um, and not really understanding how that works, being able to memorize it, but then again, as the course went on, uh, getting confused with different formulas and this sort of thing. The third thing was around the idea of pi. And uh, while a lot of learners could memorize the ratio pi, you know, up to, you know, so many digits, um, it was really coming through that the learners didn't fundamentally understand what the idea of pi was and how it relates to the circumference. And again, this was having flow-on effects to working out the area of a circle and so on. So pi was one of those areas that popped up time and time again. And the fourth area that came back probably more than any other was the idea of the Pythagoras theorem. And learners just really struggling to put that together. And of course, there was a lot of um, knowledge that needed to be learnt. First, for example, square numbers and so on, to be able to learn the Pythagoras theorem and then apply it. And so the tutors were saying a lot of things like the learners were having a lot of anxiety around the Pythagoras theorem and having difficulty learning and applying it. So what we've done is put together a suite of resources that address these four issues and more. And we'd hope that these would do three things. Number one, we'd really hope that these uh, activities and strategies would help inform the development of your program. That is, you could sit back and look at them and think, wow, you know, I think I could... Um, take these and integrate them into the program on a regular basis to help those learners overcome some of those sticking points and so on. Number two is just having some practical activities that you can do with the learners to support them in their numeracy development. Um, we've really tried to make all of these activities as hands-on, tactile and practical as possible so that the engagement levels are high, learners enjoy them, can do them, can learn from them. And I should add that all of these activities and strategies have been used in engineering classrooms and used really successfully. And the third thing is, we would really hope that these resources would just stimulate you to think about new things that you could do, that you'd look at these and you'd think, wow, I think I could do that better. And then you'd go and create your own things and so on. And that uh, these would begin people thinking about other things that they could do. Now, the way we've organized these resources is into particular content areas. So for you in engineering, as you come through, the content area might be the Pythagoras theorem, for example. And within that, you'll have a set of resources that will help support that skill. And these might be in the form of video clips, which will be like this. Uh, and there'll be practical examples of what you can do directly with your learners. There are also sequenced learning plans. And they're a bit like a learning plan in that you can read through them and they tell you step by step exactly what you might do in a class to develop a particular skill. And then there's also supplementary worksheets there that you can give to your learners. And they'll be referred to in the sequence learning plan or the video clips, as well as cutouts and things that your learners can take and use and play with and so on. And we're really hoping that all of these resources will be self-supporting. So they will be integrated. Uh, you'll know exactly where to go to get which one. And they'll all work together to support the, 
numeracy skills if your learners and literacy skills included in there as well. To finish up, we wish you all the best in your tutoring. We really hope these resources are useful to you and you're able to use these to uh, make life easier for yourself and to also make life easier for your learners uh, in their journey towards um, gaining employment in the engineering trades. Uh, we'd love your feedback on these resources. We're looking at doing more work and improving these as time goes on and adding to them. Thank you very much for tuning in. Go well.